maybe you actually want to do um, maybe you want to do this keyword with that website and you want to do this keyword with that website and then this keyword with that website whatever you can just think about it however you want to do but here's the point you can make copies of these paste you can make copies of these paste and copies of these and I'll paste it's okay to have duplicates that's my point and then that way if I put brackets here you now an opening bracket and a closing and therefore I also need this then as long as these are the same number or a perfect multiple you know then it's always gonna match this with that one that with that, that with that, that with that, that with that, that with that. And this goes as far as I want. What if I had, like I said, a, a site map and I could pluck out that the keyword for each of those pages was different. Somehow I was making a relationship there and I had a list of keywords that went with each page. I can put those keywords in here, the site map in there. And if I want to make sure that they exactly match that to that, that to that all the way down the page and as many times as it has to repeat itself then I make sure to include the brackets and the brackets that way these always go top down these always go top down the other ones don't <clears throat> they get mixed into the uniqueing routine and in essence you can just consider them randomly selected from you know from page to page to page because that's as far as you can guess you know when you're looking at the page combinations Okay. And you don't mind that they're randomly selected. These create this varshi creates readable pages and pages that are keyword optimized for what you want. And it's getting indexed left and right by Google. There's probably a hundred thousand pages indexed already out of a potential 54 million that can exist on hundreds of websites just from this page. This one page alone with the one file it belongs to. Okay. When I make changes, the best way to keep it or to save it is to hit save, hit yes. Okay, that way from the silly little icon, it's that simple. Then when I close it, I don't have to save it again because I just did. You see, if I try to save it from here, if instead what I want to do is like just close and then hit save, then it gives me this whole thing about save. And then I have to say, yes, I want to replace it. And then it goes, are you sure it's in CSV? I have to say yes. And it finally closes it, which is such a pain in the neck. It's so much easier just to go that, 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 boom. That's it. And so that's done. And I can just check it. And it's the way I thought it would be. And everything's cool about that. Don't need to save it again. I didn't make any changes at all. Now what do I do? So just to review... What do we do? We open this up, stuck in our keywords, stuck in our websites. They could be from any web websites. They could all be pages of the same site, pages of different sites, and any combination. It doesn't matter at all. Dream keyword probably didn't need to touch this at all. Uh, the menu, I may or may not have taken the extra time to care about the menu links. But if you work in WordPress, this acts a lot like categories. So you can create as many of these categories as you want, as long as you copy those whole lists and stick them in here. It does not matter what the order is at all. Um, because it doesn't matter. Because the menu is going to create the pages across all these anyway. The order does not matter at all, as long as you have all the links. That's it. Just the sum of all the links you had from here to here, right? These particular one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh no, not nine. Sorry. <laughs> Follow the numbers, right? Var two or var nine thousand two, nine thousand three, nine thousand four, five, six, seven, and eight. And then it jumps to this whole different var number, var five. That's a pretty good indication that something's changed by then. Some folks might say, can't you put a color marker in here? And the answer is not on a CSV file because it won't stick. CSV file doesn't include that functionality. Uh, whatever. That's done. It's all matched up. That was all I had to do. Now what do I do? I run it. That's the one for the placeholder website. That's for the other website. So if I run this thing, that's how it looks. It's just going to open this thing up. It's just going to run it. And it's just going to take a little while 
generating the pages was fast. Uploading them by FTP, it does it on one thread. Any idea why? Because I can run another one at the exact same time for the other website, literally. I can run eight or ten projects at the exact same time right next to each other if I want. They will not interfere with each other. They will not trip over each other. That way I can use five, six, seven, twenty threads across one, two, three, twenty FTP accounts all at the same time. Not a problem at all. Now I didn't make any changes to that other project there so it just created 30 more pages that are all unique and different from the first 30 and from each other. So now I have 60 pages uh, about whatever it is that it was set for before because I haven't changed it. <laughs> but there you have it. So now let's see our handiwork. Okay, And if I go to mojisamples.com uh, what was that called? Best dash business dash opportunity. That's it. What is business op? And it points at a page that ends with compensation plans. See that? Again, recognize this came off the profile. That's the domain on the Moji profile, which is right, or not that one, the other one. Sorry, let me just load the other one. That's the domain. And then here's the project folder that comes next. And then all my submenu links like compensation plans, that stuff came off of the CSV file itself under the menu, right? Right there. That's where that came from. Okay. Now these pages are literally up live and everything works. Every link clicks to another page. It is all there. Um, all of these links work, everything, and that's why Google can count these pages. And it's completely SEO optimized for whatever the phrase on the page is. Best, what is best business opportunity? How does best business opportunity work? Why choose best business opportunity? And guess what? If I go to the bottom, there it is. Best business opportunity. That's the backlink. And guess where it points? Right there. One of the websites that I chose for it to point to. So I created 30 backlinks spread across four websites with those backlinks on pages that are optimized, but you know, best business opportunity all throughout the page. Matter of fact, show keyword density. Here you go, twice in the title, 10% in the body. It's half of what the H1, H2, H3 tags say that this is working. Uh, it's in 12 of the links. It's bolded, it's in the meta description, it's in the meta uh, keywords. It's so completely heavy, cool, that it's just all over and just right. And that's so awesome. This is what is working and it's working incredibly well. And the reason that it's so heavy is so you can make as many pages as you want with this one placeholder website and Google's gonna index it because it has a different keyword focus. And every single one of those pages you generate are going to say the the they're going to swap between what you had for the wording for the backlinks and if you ever wondered well isn't it going to be dupe if you have two pages that say best business opportunity the answer is no because one of them one page is all about lagrange illinois best business opportunity some other page is about bond pass illinois uh unilever compensation plan they get mixed and matched all throughout. As a matter of fact, this uh, Bond Pass Illinois shows up on, enough on the page um, that Google is completely cool with it. It understands that it's meant for a different city in the U.S. and people searching in that city, Google recognize their IP address, that they're there, and tend to show them this page first because it matches them most, right? But they don't need to see this page, and they probably won't click on it in the Google results anyway, even if they saw it because there's just it doesn't read in such a way that you would bother to click on it but it doesn't read like spam either it just reads like a boring web page that's all however for our purposes not boring at all now what else did got created with this inside every folder is its own index file and so the best business opportunity has an index file and so do these other ones we've been looking at those uh, index files on all these subfolders but every one of these every one of these sublinks has related links in the bottom and if you look at that link mojisamples.com 
project, the subfolder, whoops, the menu, right, special bonuses, and then there's the sitemap for the special bonuses link in that project on that website, right? All of these sub pages are there too, and they're real also, and they count, and they all have backlinks. This one says compensation plans and points at one of the other websites. They go on and on and on, and they're interconnected, and Google can find them all. There's related links in every one of those sections. If I switch to a new section, like well, whatever I'm on, I'm on special bonuses, and this is the page I'm on right now inside the special bonuses folder. Well, if I switch to something else like how this works, and then I go to related links, guess what? It's all the how this works related links, including the index. We don't miss the indexes for any of these things, okay? Boom. There you have it. So all this stuff is there. It's all correct. Everything is good. The only other thing that we may bother doing is submitting the sitemap to Google so that Google can see the links faster. Do you need to? Nope. The only other thing you have to, and that's because the bots are going to find it anyway. The only, as long as it knows your website is there, it will get around to caching it. But we'll show you how to log into Google and actually upload it and stuff like that because it's fine. Our people constantly do that. They upload the sitemaps. One guy uploaded a sitemap with 245,000 web pages on it. Google indexed about 137,000 in the first eight days. I think my numbers are close. Um, but really, like 137 or 134,000. And then it dragged most of them back over the next week or so, got the guy back down to like 16,000 web pages, and then trickled it back up. So by the time he was at 40 days, from the time he submitted to his sitemap, had that huge upsurge, then a big drop, and then a climb again, without doing anything else, just letting Google sort through all the pages and decide what to keep and what not to. Uh, after 40 days, he wound up with 45,000 that are indexed. That's on the climb. It's going to continue to go up. He's there now at 40. Um, 15 days ago, he was like at 23. Something like that. No, he's he was at 23. Now he's at 45. It's 45,000 in 40 days. That's wild, and that's the kind of thing that's possible. Do we suggest that people run out and do that? No. Uh, do I know whether he's doing anything else with the website? No. He said a modified version of the placeholder website, so I don't know what that means. Maybe put in a Facebook like button, or he's stuck in some newsletter, or he just changed these links and stuff like that. You don't need to do that, but you can. The pages are completely controllable by you. Um, you can do whatever you want with them as long as you don't break the coding, right? But there you go. That's the first job. Now, the second thing that we want to show real, real, real fast is what if you want to put the pages up on the other website? I already showed you step three. Uh, I can save this. <clears throat> but what was step one? Moji CSPPC. I load that up. Moji CSPPC. Okay. All I need to know that's going to be the domain name that's going to be the project however many pages yes it's on ftp there's the ftp connection for the username and the password notice it is a true path in this case moji-cspc.com is a sub domain of maddysystem.com so the path that this ftp user has and i could have used a direct path to moji-cspc.com as long as I had a direct path for the FTP access. But in this case, I'm using this one to show you how it works. I'm coming in from the very, very top, right to the main domain slash, then you would need your public underscore HTML folder if that's what you have, or your web folder, or your home folder, or your pages folder, wherever all those web pages go, and then runs, which is actually where moji-cspc.com is assigned. This is the same thing as that, okay? It's the same place. How do you know? This is all that's left. Backlink program. That's the only thing that's left. And so they match. 